Ever pondered about the life of a star, how it's born, lives and then dies in a spectacular explosion? It all starts with a humble cosmic cloud, a nebula. Nebulae are vast, diverse regions of dust and gas scattered across the universe serving as stellar nurseries. Within these nebulae, pockets of gas and dust start to collapse under their own gravitational pull, creating a dense ball of matter known as a protostar. The heart of a protostar is a tumultuous place. As it continues to compress under gravity, the pressure and temperature at its core rise dramatically. When the core temperature reaches a scorching 10 million degrees, a process known as nuclear fusion ignites. This is the moment a star is truly born. Nuclear fusion is like the engine of a star. Here, hydrogen atoms are squeezed together under immense pressure and heat to form helium. This process releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of light and heat, giving the star its glow. The life of a star is a delicate balancing act. On one hand, gravity is constantly trying to pull everything inward. On the other hand, the outward push from the radiation pressure created by nuclear fusion counteracts this inward pull. As long as this equilibrium exists, the star remains stable, shining brightly in the cosmic night. But like all things in the universe, stars are not immortal. They consume fuel, age, and eventually meet their end. The way a star dies depends on its mass. Small to medium-sized stars like our sun, gently puff off their outer layers, creating beautiful nebulae. However, massive stars meet a more dramatic fate. So stars are born, they live and then they die, but how they die, now that is a story worth telling. Let's journey to a special star, Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in our night sky. Betelgeuse, the radiant gem of the Orion constellation, is a celestial spectacle unlike any other. This star, named after the ancient Arabic phrase for the giant's shoulder, truly lives up to its moniker. It's a red supergiant, a species of star that has exhausted the hydrogen fuel at its core and expanded to gargantuan proportions. Imagine if you will, a celestial body so massive that if placed at the center of our solar system, it would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter. That's Betelgeuse for you, a star so large it makes our sun seem like a mere speck of dust, a star so bright, it can outshine millions of suns combined. Located approximately 700 light years away, Betelgeuse is not just visible to the naked eye, but is one of the top 10 brightest stars in our night sky. Its red hue, a result of its relatively cooler surface temperature, paints a striking picture against the backdrop of the cosmos. But Betelgeuse is not just another pretty face in the stellar crowd. It's a star on the brink of death. You see red supergiants like Betelgeuse live fast and die young. And when they die, they go out with a bang, in a spectacular explosion known as a supernova. In the grand cosmic timeline, Betelgeuse is nearing its end. Astronomers predict that within the next hundred thousand years, a blink of an eye in astronomical terms, Betelgeuse will explode in a supernova, an event so bright that it could be seen in daylight from our little blue planet. Betelgeuse, a ticking cosmic clock, is heading towards an inevitable explosion. What does it mean when we say a star goes supernova? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? To understand, we must first know that stars are not eternal. They are born, they live, and they die. And just like in life, sometimes their end is spectacular. A star goes supernova when it has exhausted its nuclear fuel. This nuclear fuel is what enables a star to generate heat and light, it's the very lifeblood of a star. But what happens when it runs out? Well, the star can no longer generate enough pressure to withstand its own gravity, and so it collapses under its own weight. This collapse then triggers a massive explosion, a supernova. And when we say massive, we mean it. The energy released in a supernova can outshine an entire galaxy for brief periods of time. But here's the truly fascinating part. Supernovae are not just celestial fireworks, they are the universe's recycling mechanism. You see stars, especially large ones like Betelgeuse, are the universe's factories. They produce all the heavy elements in the periodic table, from carbon and oxygen to gold and uranium. And when a star goes supernova, it doesn't just explode, it disperses these elements into space. This stellar debris then coalesces over time, forming new stars, planets, and even life. So when we say a star goes supernova, we're talking about a cosmic event of grand proportions. We're talking about the death of a star and the birth of new celestial bodies. We're talking about the universe, constantly in motion, constantly changing, and constantly creating. Indeed, the death of a star is not an end, but a spectacular beginning for new celestial bodies. Fast forward to 2024 and our star of the hour, Betelgeuse, has gone supernova.
Let's take a moment to appreciate the grand spectacle that unfolded right before our cosmic eyes. Beetlejuice, once a red supergiant, has now transformed into a celestial firework, illuminating the universe in a brilliant display of cosmic energy. This event did not go unnoticed. Astronomers across the globe, armed with their telescopes and data-collecting instruments, were on high alert. They observed the supernova with bated breath, capturing every moment of this rare phenomenon. And what a sight it was! A star, once a tiny point in the constellation of Orion, suddenly outshone all others, becoming a beacon in the night sky. The data collected from this event is invaluable. It provides us with unique insights into the life and death of stars, giving us a clearer understanding of the universe's mechanisms. The readings taken during the supernova will be studied and scrutinized for years to come, each discovery leading to more questions, pushing the boundaries of our cosmic knowledge. The implications of this event are far-reaching. Witnessing a supernova from a star as close as Betelgeuse is an extremely rare occurrence. Most supernovae observed by astronomers are in galaxies millions of light-years away, but Betelgeuse, just 700 light-years from us, gave us a front-row seat to one of the universe's most spectacular shows. This was not just a moment of scientific significance, it was a moment of unity. People from all walks of life across the globe looked up at the night sky and watched as Betelgeuse exploded in a brilliant supernova. It was a reminder of how small we are in the grand scheme of things, and how we are all part of this vast, ever-expanding universe. The supernova of Betelgeuse, an event of cosmic proportions forever changing our night sky. This celestial spectacle, a testament to the life and death of stars, will be etched in our memories and in the annals of astronomy forever reminding us of the day when Betelgeuse outshone the cosmos. So, what happens after a star like Betelgeuse goes supernova? That's the question on everyone's mind. The aftermath of a supernova is as dramatic and beautiful as the explosion itself. In the case of a star like Betelgeuse, two things can happen. The first possibility is the formation of a neutron star. This is a compact object incredibly dense, formed from the collapsed core of the star. Neutron stars are fascinating in their own right, spinning at incredible speeds and producing intense magnetic fields. The second possibility is even more mind-boggling, the formation of a black hole. This occurs when the core of the star collapses under its own gravity, creating a region in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Black holes are one of the most enigmatic and intriguing phenomena in the universe, still shrouded in mystery despite decades of research. Now, let's recap the journey of Betelgeuse. Born millions of years ago in a nebula's heart, it lived a vibrant life as a red supergiant, visible to the naked eye from Earth. Its death was as spectacular as its life, going supernova and illuminating the cosmos with its final act. This event is not just a fascinating spectacle but also an invaluable opportunity for astronomers to gather data and deepen our understanding of the universe's workings. The Betelgeuse supernova has offered a glimpse into the future of our own sun. Although our star is not massive enough to end its life in a supernova, it will one day exhaust its nuclear fuel and transform into a red giant, marking the beginning of the end of its life cycle. The story of Betelgeuse, from its birth to its spectacular death, serves as a reminder of the life cycle of stars. It's a testament to the grand scale of the universe and the timeless cycle of birth, life and death that governs all things, from the smallest atom to the largest galaxy. The Betelgeuse supernova, a testament to the life and death of stars, reminds us of the grand scale and timeless cycle of our universe. 